Hello and welcome to the second part of my Chanel inspired backpack graffiti uh, tutorial video DIY and uh, yeah if you haven't watched the first part I would do this first so you can click now and then you come to the first part and to see the second part you just keep on watching. Alright, the next step is to paint our logo. Okay, to do this I took a textile color, um, yeah, or a textile paint and the brush and then you just want to start painting in the Chanel logo. <laughs> and yes, I took a white paint but you can also take black paint or a red paint or a green or anything you want to do this like your style <laughs> you know and yeah you just want to do this all right and when the paint is too thick for painting you know like you can't you can't paint with it uh you can also mix it with some water but only a little bit and then you can kind of paint on easier Yeah, and I think you need um, a few more layers. I I need or I needed two layers because I want it still in that kind of <laughs> hobo style, <laughs> you know, like street style uh, graffiti thing. And I don't want it like uh, one white piece, you know. Uh, yeah, so I made two layers. You may want to do more or less more <laughs> you know all right and when we look at our original piece we see that we still need kind of an address down there, you know, I'm gonna say it in French now. Point d'air rue Cambon in Paris. And yeah, we're gonna paint it on. With my mobile phone I go to Google and I search for Chanel graffiti bag. And yeah, then I kind of search that picture and I hand painted it onto my bag. And yes, that this this takes maybe a little bit but i'm sure you get it and if you mess one letter up you know you can kind of try to to uh, scratch it away with the the other side of your uh, brush you know like maybe you see it when i do it like on the video you see and yeah maybe you want to try to kind of scratch it away a little bit so uh, you can't see it anymore uh, for me it worked pretty good so and yeah Okay, after letting it dry, you want to take a few cords and a few uh, laces and everything you find in your house um, <clears throat> to kind of do that chain. And I'm gonna show you how to do it. So first you want to take something which is non-elastic. So I take this cord and I don't know if this is supposed to do that, probably not. And yeah, but I'm gonna do it anyway. <laughs> so, first you wanna take your cord and fold it in half and then fold it in half again. So you have a little cordy string. <laughs> okay, and then <clears throat> you take this cord and put it through your... I don't know how this thing is named zipper zipper it's named zipper right and yep you want to put it through this zippery thing 
and then you want to make a double knot. Okay, before I do this, I'm gonna change my clothes. Feeling so fresh. No, the real ground is I walked a little bit outside and I changed my clothes for this. I'm not changing clothes under videos because I'm too crazy. Moving right along. So the next step you want to do is you want to take another band. This can be elastic, but it has not to be elastic. And you want to knot it in. Like you want to put the next string or whatever you take. And you want to make a double knot with the red one, you know, like for me. And then you want to make one knot with the gray one, like I did in the video. And then two with the red, two with the um, gray, two with the red, two with the gray, two with the red, two with the gray, two with the gray, two with the gray, two with the Alright, you'll notice that your string is going to end and you have to end your chain. So, uh, yeah, you want to twist and spin the, the end of the chain and then you want to take another string and double knot it around the end of the string, you know, like if you understand me. So. <laughs> Uh, then I got a quick tip for you well you can take a lighter and then you want to burn all this little fuzzy strings which are standing out like if you see here then you want to burn them away huh. but this is only working with plastic be careful to not burn yourself okay that's it for my Chanel um, graffiti bag tutorial, fake tutorial, no, it's not a fake, it's inspired, you know, haha. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, if you like my tutorial, you can subscribe to my channel or give me a thumbs up, <laughs> thumbs up, and <clears throat> you can comment, uh, if you have any questions below, because I like answering any questions of you, and, yep. Yeah, that's it. I'm gonna show you a few photographs because I did something like a photo shooting. Oh, so professional. No, I'm not. Uh, but yes, I did a few photos and I'm gonna show them now to you. Now, the official release of my Chanel fake bag inspired fake bag graffiti photography. Uh, yeah photo shooting yep okay bye